how it went? Not yet, not yet. We do have Andrew with us. Andrew, congratulations to out of two. A great start you. for uh, you. Tell us a bit about the opening phase. And I want to emphasize this position because it was quite crazy. It felt at least visually that you're completely breaking through, right? But it's not that easy. After yeah. this H4, Rook G8, were you thinking about taking it like this? Yeah, actually, so um, when he played this G5, F6 idea, I mean, I saw it was a legal move, but <laughs> I, I thought there's no way this could work. But then uh, the more I looked at it, it was a complete mess. It was so hard to judge. And um, I actually missed that after H4, Rook G8. Um, Rook G8 is a really strong move. Yes. This, this move I missed because, and it's not clear what to do. If I play Queen H6, King F7, um, the threat is rook h8 here, so even if I take on g5, rook h8 should be good for black. Yes, g8, and this exactly. Is really bad. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, king f7, I should play queen h5 check. Um, yeah, it's a question yeah. of assessment at this yeah, point. Yeah, but then rook right? g6, and I, I couldn't see clearly what to do for white. Um, it's a huge mess, there's a, so much going on, but I decided to choose queen d3. Um, and I think that was the right decision, and... You were trying to open up the position, trying to get to his king. He was yeah. trying to get to your king. Complete mess. Yeah, it was a complete mess. Um, I think after the critical moment was after CD. Yes. He takes D5. He's supposed to take ED, and the position is extremely complex. Mm -hmm. I, I didn't see it because Queen E8 looks scary, but after King G7, Knight H5, King H8, there's nothing here. So <laughs> um, I, after ED, I was just playing on playing Knight H2, and we have very very complicated position. Um, all of three results possible, but after GF... Almost impossible to assess it. Yeah, right. just bishop d7. I, uh, yeah. Such a random placement for all the pieces, more or less, right? Right, but after GF, DC, I'm not sure what he missed, because this looks not great for black. Takes, and then there's this move, queen b6, was very key. Um, Perhaps this is what he missed. This, this might have been what he missed, because his king is um, getting cooked in the open. And, yeah, the idea is queen c7, knight f4. Yeah. And I actually think he had a... The best defense was bishop e4 here, I think. Yes. Um, he did play queen c7, before. takes queen c4, this is key. He's supposed to play king e5 here. That's right. And here, I was calculating a lot. It's, it's actually a lot harder were than Were you looks. thinking about f4? Or no, I calculate here about? bishop d2. Bishop d2, so which is the best move. So now I have some dual threats of f4, bishop b, and then bishop b4. Also have rook e4, rook e1, which wins. And I, the move I calculated for black here was rook g4. Which okay. It looks like it might hold on. But then, it wasn't that clear to me. I didn't have much time. But I thought here, queen c6 might win. Queen? <laughs> That's... <laughs> and apparently, oh, wow. queen, queen takes f2, apparently. It sounds oh, it doesn't <laughs> win. Oh, I, I thought king takes... Okay, this is And ridiculous. the rook is hanging on g4, but this bishop h4. Wow. <laughs> and bishop f2. Okay, this is ridiculous. That's insane. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry, what is this? <laughs> Come on, what is this? What is this type of chess? <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't see bishop h4, but... Oh, my goodness. But but I figured I figured if he actually I figured he actually went for king e5. There, I I should find a win there somehow. But um, <laughs> yeah, king d7 was a nice little trap. Obviously, the idea is if rook e4, queen f2, and the tables are turned. Yes, um, wow. again. But uh, fortunately, I have bishop f4, which I think wins cleanly on the um, spot. Yeah, rook d1, and his king is just toasted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Andrew, congratulations. Uh, good start for you guys. Join the conversation. Any questions for our? Current lead. Uh, first of all, that was a really thrilling game. Was there any moment there, Andrew, that you felt like I may have missed something, or did you feel confident throughout? Um, after C takes D5, um, I was expecting ED, as I said. But after GF3, I hadn't. I, I was a little bit afraid that I was missing something, but I really couldn't see what he wanted. Um, mm -hmm. So I just had to trust my calculation. There's there's a lot to calculate, but um, right, it seems to all work for white. So, uh, you know, my sort of thinking was I'll, I'll just play, you know, what I think, and then uh, we'll see w what he does, and then we'll just go from there, move, uh, move by move. A thrilling victory! Congratulations. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Uh, and Andrew, I have one more question. I feel like Jason, he played really fast in the opening. Were you worried about his preparation, or did you just think F6 is really bad and you're going to do great there? Yeah, actually, so he played this C5 line, which I believe he doesn't usually play. Um, assumed he, I assumed he had some preparation here, so I, I chose a slightly different line um, from what I usually play. And he was still playing quickly, um, but I think generally he was already out of book, but he... he Maybe he, the type of player, he, he just plays fast, or maybe in this certain game he wanted to you know, put pressure on the clock. But I'm, I'm pretty sure he was out of book, um, just playing quickly, though. And it, it, it really wasn't easy to um, 
you know, find the right way for white. Yeah, great game. Congratulations. Absolutely, absolutely. And